we take this step because we know that in solving the many, many problems and our great challenges, faith is more powerful than government, and nothing is more powerful than God. As our founders knew, this precious liberty is endowed not by government, but by our Creator. And we believe that it belongs not just to the American people, but to all people. And America has always and will always lead the world by our Example. Millions of people of all faiths are suffering every day. But the Trump administration will not be silent. Falun Gong are facing severe persecution. And there are actual reports of organ harvesting where they kill them and they take their organs for sale. It's It's Tibetan Buddhists, it's Uyghur Muslims, Christian house church leaders, Falun Gong. There's a whole series, and this has been going on for some period of time. What we're trying to do is get that international coalition pulling together to push on the Chinese government. In 1999, Ambassador Brownback's predecessor designated the following countries for their denial of religious freedom. Burma, China, Iran, Iraq, and Sudan. The Taliban, a non-state group, was also designated. Denial of religious freedom is so destructive because it represents the state elevating itself above the divine. Denial of religious freedom is the ultimate authoritarianism. <laughs> 